fat loss and skin. And by skin, I'm talking about like uh, less skin. So let me just show you something real quick. Uh, you be the judge of this. So right now this morning, I was uh, 172 pounds. I don't know what that is in kilos, but 172 pounds, right? So this is where I'm at. I used to be 320 pounds. I'm going to put an image somewhere here eventually, but for now, check this out. I have a little bit of extra skin, right? Stretches and whatnot. However, compared to this other image over here, where I basically weighed the same thing like almost a year and a half ago. So you tell me right now, if you notice that maybe the skin looks a little bit more firm, like a little bit more picked up, you be the judge. I'll bring this up because one of the things that I do that's maybe a little out there relative to everything that I do is fasting. That, that's about the only thing that I do that I think stands out even the slightest. And I bring it up because within fasting, there's this thing called like autophagy. And I wouldn't be surprised if there's like some other things, some other systems or like things that get discovered later down the road. <clears throat> but apparently, and I, I guess I'll put some stuff here uh, with that cellular repair. Apparently, it, it doesn't like directly attack the skin. However, <clears throat> in somebody restricting food... You just may lead the body towards the direction of, hey, wait a minute, there's some extra stuff that we could use right here that we're not using as much. Oh, look at that, extra skin. Let's use that as energy. Now, we don't get to choose that directly, kind of like the idea of like trying to target, like, hey, I want to burn fat from just right here. To my understanding, that's not a thing, you know, like spot reduction. So I don't think there's such thing as like spot reducing, spot tightening skin, right? And Heck, there's people that don't even think that, you know, fasting does anything with the skin whatsoever. So I don't know. But you be the judge. And, you know, like, for example, here, look. <clears throat> Let me lower down my pants real quick. It's enough, right? So, like, here's my stomach, right? I'm going to go give the old flex here. Hold on. So, so we got the old flex. So you can see we got, we got a little something, something. Check this out. Look at that. I got extra skin right there. But if I didn't pull on it, you probably wouldn't tell. Like, you probably tell a little bit. Like, oh, there's like a little little sag here. Right? This is a little something. But, like, to this, hold on, sideways. To this extent, would you have guessed it? Would you have guessed it? Be honest now. So, and, like, for example, here we go. <clears throat> Let me see. Hold on. My arm, right? So, right now, uh, well, I don't know about you, but that looks pretty. I mean, there is lighting. But even, even with the lighting, there's still some striations, some cuts in there. I'm going to go ahead and pull on the skin. Hold on. <clears throat> like I said, I mean, you you be the judge. I mean, look at that. The moment I look, boom. The moment I look, boom, gone. Gone. Back. Back in business. So that's what I wanted to say about skin. And now I'm going to, I'm actually going to get started eating got 10 eggs i got some uh, macadamia nuts i have three types of cheeses right now i have a my god what is that shit called again hold on i'm gonna open up the fridge and i cannot see it from here so now i gotta stand up Nabulsi, I think it's pronounced Nabulsi cheese, and then I got some maple bourbon cheese, I got some bread cheese, I got two ribeyes, so a total of three pounds of ribeyes, I have some Alban crunchy butter, over here I got some um, beef feet that I pressure cooked for about an hour, and I'm going to have the recipe uh, somewhere in there, so three pounds of that, but I'm pretty sure a good amount of those three pounds of bones, so I don't know, and then I got some truffle olive oil but this time not the black truffle the white truffle got some coconut oil then i got my boger my bowl <laughs> so over here i got my uh i got the japanese quincy quincy melon over here the yellow wa watermelon i got a honeycomb i got some cashews uh, more cr crunchy peanut butter and then the yogurt flax meal chia seed thing that's really helping with digestion by the way especially during this, these more carnivore times that I'm um, experimenting with. Give me one second. I'm, I'm just throwing on, I'm putting on a hat right now so that this hair just kind of stays down a little bit. Like it's, I think it's kind of cute and all, but like uh, it's just, just kind of waving everywhere. 
like a flag. Yeah, there, there, there. Oh my god, this this whole wooden fork is not gonna make it. I'm gonna start off by taking a good old sip of this apple cider water lemon thing and talk about a shock to the system, man. Oh my god. All right, now I'm gonna get started. Well, as of right now, my current plan is to do an incremental rolling fast. So. Last time that I ate was 48 hours ago. The next time I'm gonna eat, it's gonna be 72. And after that, 96. And after that, 120. I've never tried that. It's an idea that came about. Might be dangerous, might be stupid, might be the best thing I ever do. I have no idea, so I'm gonna give it a shot. Oh my God, it's like I'm falling in love with the beef feet. Oh my goodness, it's been a minute since I've had this. Mm. Man, try you try you some beef feet with uh, with a beef, uh, with some macadamia and some goat cheese, man. Mm. 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 I love me some feet, especially some cute feet. I can see the toes curl even better. Don't get it twisted though. It's only one kind of feet I'm talking about right now. I'm talking about some beef feet. You know what's going on. Mm. Oh my God. I would say your feet. Half of y'all got plankton and SpongeBob living underneath your toenails and shit. <clears throat> this kind of feet gonna take care of me. Got a whole lot of fat and a whole lot of collagen. If I can live to see another day and breathe some more oxygen. If you found this video helpful, please let me know so I can serve you some more Bon Appetito once again.